Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him. Convince him to come back to reality. Uh, Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. Whoa. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Uh, <laughs> I'm not the only one that hears that, right? <laughs> we got a runner! After a spot I don't know this part! Traps! Please be something soft down there! <laughs> Drax? Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, eh, Gamora? I'm gonna enjoy this. Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am! Lay him down! Not so tough after all. Something's not right. You fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target wreck. Hey, Goldie, don't suppose you want to lend a hand. You fight a phantom. Fear given form. It is a futile foray. At this rate, we're gonna be outnumbered! It's like he can't be killed! As far as Drax is concerned, he probably can't! Fortune favors failure! Is that supposed to mean something to us? You're giving in to poor Greenie's obsession. Only by letting go can you move on. We need to end this! I'm open to suggestions! Something to us! Move it! Why won't he die? There's gotta be something we're missing! Fortune favors failure! Beer punch Jack and more nonsense! Don't make me ask for help! Oh crap! Destined defeat. Fear butts yak 
fucking more nonsense. I won't make it, Quill! Hang tight! I can't... Peter? Whoa! Hey, what's happening? That's it! That's why I couldn't see! Oh. I think we did something, but I don't see Drax. Mantis? Your soothsayer holds no sway here. Oh, good. Not creepy at all. Hold up! Look! I bet I could beat you to the center. <laughs> Not so fast, little one. Drax! Wait up! I keep thinking that creepy kid is gonna pop out of nowhere. There he is again! Drax, buddy! Wait up! Forced to follow fools. <laughs> Damn it! I can hear you, little You play Pong on a board built by your opponent. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. Oh, assuming we ever catch him, what then? I'm working on that. Left, little one. Your friend is too far fallen to be willed back by words. For someone who's been no help... There! Look! Hey, how did you beat me? Because <laughs> I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa, are you all right? Drax, Camaria, it is time to come home. What the flock is that? Yes, little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! It's not Kansas anymore. Mark are those! Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! Prepare to be pulled within! Hold on to your tails! Don't you dare! I ain't leaving wood gets out of my car! Everyone all right? Define all right. I think we gotta look at whatever's keeping us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. Is that... Drax's wife. I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. You two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted, wind. Easy, all right. I got this. 
Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big lug. Don't leave me alone with Quill. I am Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. You do not know what you ask. It's not all bad. I don't see any new promise, at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothingness. Not helping! Hobo wizard. All right, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward, or... whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. Drax! Come on, buddy! I know you can hear me! This ain't flarkin' funny! I know you're in a dark place right now. Literally! But we're not gonna give up. Just point us in the right direction. There! Look! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us, I'm sure of it. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drax, love. It is time to eat. Look, I get it, man. They seem really special. They are the only thing that matters. My Hovat. Was the most fearless mate I have ever known. She brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. were.
My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. And it ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. Without it... I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. It's not her. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. I will cherish the time that we had. And not resent the time that we lost. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. Peter Quill. Your child is in danger. If her pain is half my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Back here and explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Hey, we're in this together and Smart Money says it's gonna be a tough fight. Even in earnest, you underestimate. So, anything you can tell us about what we're up against will be a plus. Imagine 
ambivalent omnipotence, drifting in darkness. Such was my celestial solitude, power without purpose, until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed, symptom and solace. They worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice, and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorged with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Now you've got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think... I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corral was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivable. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. what Corel said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find oh, the kids going? What are you... Oh, oh Lark. Lark.
They can go anywhere, convert anyone. That sound like you're not coming with us. These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Think. Just trust me. Don't go dying. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. I wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And then the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. <laughs> 